In the mid-1950s, the United States military sought innovative solutions for troop mobility in potential nuclear, chemical, and biological warfare scenarios. This quest led to the development of the Hiller VZ-1 Pawnee, a groundbreaking flying platform that captured the public imagination and pushed the boundaries of vertical flight technology. The origins of this unique aircraft can be traced to aeronautical engineer Charles Zimmerman, who developed the original concept in the late 1940s. Zimmerman's radical idea was to create a small horizontal platform that a pilot could control using natural balancing reflexes, similar to riding a bicycle. His kinesthetic control theory suggested that a person's innate ability to maintain balance could be used to pilot a flying machine. Hiller Aircraft, under the leadership of Stanley Hiller, took up the challenge and began developing the flying platform. The first prototype, known as the Model 1031, featured a five-foot fiberglass ducted fan with twin counter-rotating coaxial propellers. Powered by two 44-horsepower Nelson H-59 engines, the platform could generate lift through a combination of the Bernoulli principle and propeller thrust. The first free flight occurred on January 27, 1955, marking a significant milestone in vertical takeoff and landing aircraft development. The Office of Naval Research and the United States Army showed keen interest, leading to further contracts and prototype development. In 1956, the Army commissioned a larger model designated VZ-1 Pawnee. This version was 8 feet in diameter, 7 feet high, and weighed 370 pounds empty. However, the addition of a third engine to provide redundancy severely compromised the platform's original design philosophy. The extra weight made kinesthetic control impossible, forcing engineers to develop more conventional control systems. Despite multiple iterations, including the VZ-1E model, the flying platform proved impractical for military use. Its limitations included extremely low speed, approximately 16 miles per hour, poor maneuverability in windy conditions, and challenging control mechanisms. The project was ultimately abandoned, with Hiller Aircraft going out of business in 1966. However, the Hiller flying platform was far from a complete failure. It demonstrated the potential of ducted fan technology, which later found applications in hovercraft and unmanned aerial vehicles. The project captured public imagination, with photographs of the platform resembling something out of a science fiction novel. Today, two of the original six prototypes survive. One resides at the Hiller Aviation Museum in San Carlos, California, while another is displayed at the National Air and Space Museum's Udvar Hazy Center in Virginia. These preserved platforms serve as a testament to an ambitious era of aerospace innovation and the relentless human pursuit of new forms of transportation. The Hiller VZ-1 Pawnee remains a fascinating chapter in aviation history, a bold experiment that, while not commercially successful, inspired future technological developments and captured the imagination of an entire generation.